guys welcome back to my channel good morning i have literally just woken up as you can probably hear from my voice i am in my sri lankan 90 and i could not care less um it is comfortable so don't judge <laughs> um as you can see from the title below my best friend is going to be controlling my 24 hours i'm not sure why i signed up for this because she sent me the list yesterday night and guys it is savage like some of the stuff i completely hate and she's making me do so yeah what can i do so um i'm gonna be asking for applications for a new best friend if you can uh send it or your cv to me that would be great <laughs> i'm kidding but um it's a shame she doesn't have a youtube channel because i would love to get her back but i would just have to do it in real life something to get her back you know but without further ado, if you do like this video, please press like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to comment with your thoughts. So let's just get straight into it. So I completely forgot to mention, but she basically wants me to dance to an upbeat Tamil song. And the way we dance to these kind of like Ghana songs, that's what they're called, is by doing Kutu, which is basically a type of like dancing which you will see me do obviously due to copyright reasons i can't put the real song on but just kind of envision it um and enjoy my dancing she just loves to embarrass me but yeah just enjoy it <laughs> Right, so I'm making porridge. Um, my mum's actually helping me make it because I've never had porridge in my life, so I don't really know how it works. Um, Shivani said I can basically have it with two tablespoons of honey, so I'm gonna do that. Another funny thing is the reason she's making me eat this is because she knows I hate porridge. I can't stand it, I hate the texture. So, um, She's making me this, so let's see how this actually tastes like. And I'm going to start making my black coffee as well, which I also hate. So that's another fun fact for you guys. So I'm going to make my black coffee, which I absolutely hate. I really, oh, I really love sweet coffee. So if I'm honest, I'm not really sure how many to put in here. I might put two. I'll just leave it at two. Okay, right. Let's put this all back in place before my mum absolutely murders me. Um, right, so. Kettle is piping hot. I right, know oh this is going to horrible. Alright, we're going to leave it at that. This should wake me up, I think. Oh my god, look at that. How do you people drink this? Honestly, I don't understand. I put this in a... Do not worry, be happy cup because, you know, as I hate black coffee, just trying to, you know, get over that and just be happy. So that's my theory. So I'm leaving the porridge to soak in milk because apparently my mum said it tastes nicer than like that or something. I don't really know if it's going to taste nice. I think she's just saying that just to make me feel better. But anyway, I've made my black coffee. I'm going to try it now. I'm so wary. Oh my God, look at my hair jokes. I don't care. Oh, okay. I'm not mad about it, actually. It's all right, you know. And this is healthy, right? Or is it black tea that's healthy? Because coffee's not healthy, is it? No, coffee is caffeine, so that's not healthy. But black coffee is kind of like almost healthy, right? We're gonna go with that, okay. Not bad, Giovanni, not bad. Um, wow, okay. I don't really drink coffee that much anyway. But, um, yeah, black coffee. All right, I think you may have converted me. Well done, well done. 
So while I'm waiting for my porridge to soak, I'm gonna actually give some training in the meantime for my travel business. So um, after I do that, then I can only eat my porridge because my mum forgot that I was going to be having porridge today because for her, it's like, what, bitch, having porridge? Are you, are, is she all right? Is she all right? But um, yeah, so she forgot, so she didn't get time to soak it. So we're gonna let it soak, I'm gonna deliver my training and then I'll tune in back with you to see how this porridge tastes. Oh my God, fingers crossed it tastes all right. Cause the black coffee was all right. So I'm just gonna be positive and say that, yes, the porridge is going to be nice. So we are prestige, so we are having manuka honey <laughs> with the porridge. My mum heated it in the microwave for about a minute. I'm just mixing that together now. Oh God, look at the texture, it's already making me feel sick. Oh God, no. I don't want bananas. No, I don't want. I don't know. I don't know if you no, no. She didn't say add any fruits, and I don't. You know what? I, how I feel about mixing fruits and other things. Is that is that finished now? Mm. Right, guys. I'm gonna taste it. It's more the awkward angle because I couldn't figure out where else to put it. All I can smell is honey. Oh God, no, that is horrible. How do you people eat this on a regular basis? It's oh. really nice. Oh no. Um, Shall I go with like a little bit more? I mean, if you want to, but is that gonna really make a difference to the taste? No, to make it a bit creamier. Okay guys, I managed to finish the porridge. It was nasty. And I feel a little bit sick now. So that's great. So yeah, that's that's me done with my porridge. Um, I, I can't. Okay, next up, probably the weirdest request. She wants me to put makeup on, um, concealer and eyeliner, which is fine because that's usually what I do anyway. Because the whole reason I wear makeup is to get rid of these bad boys. So concealer and eyeliner, and then <laughs> she wants me to use the eyeliner and basically put her initials on my cheek. <sighs> this girl she really trying to embarrass me i mean i have no shame anyway but she's still trying to embarrass me with the little shame that i have so i'm gonna go and uh, put some makeup on now concealer done i would just like to say guys i do have lots of concealers that are basically almost finished but i'm a bit cheap like that and i like to finish it all the way until there's literally no product left so hence why I'm having that. I do have the Huda Beauty Concealer, which I use for special occasions because it's damn expensive. And also it's a very prestige concealer, so I don't want to be using it every day. I'm no MUA that gets paid for products, so I will be saving that. So I'm going to put baking powder and all that stuff now. I just thought I'd let you know that as a disclaimer that I'm not actually that cheap. Kind of, but yeah. I've done my makeup, as you can see. I'm gonna put the initials now, I think probably on my right cheek. <sighs> hey, you, Shivani. Right, and there we have it, guys. I have done my makeup. I have put her initials on my face like an idiot. And now I'm going to drink one liter of water as she requested. She's purposely done this because um, she wants me to get my two liter intake of water and i barely ever drink water just because i'm lazy and i can't be asked to go to the kitchen to get water that is <laughs> my honest opinion but um yeah i'm going to now drink a liter of water okay guys don't laugh but i don't have a water bottle so <laughs> what i'm basically doing is this i found a measuring jug and i've measured out 500 milliliters I also found this pint glass, obviously for beer, but I'm just gonna use it anyway for water. And I'm just gonna measure that and create a liter. And hopefully this glass holds that much. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my 
my god right this is half a litre how does anyone drink this this much in one go i don't know this is going to take me a while guys so i will tune in with you once i have done the whole litre of water this is my second glass of water to be fair i don't actually know how people drink this much water i mean obviously you probably don't drink it all at once but i am so full just from drinking one glass of water and now i have to drink another one so that's great So currently on the 5k walk, I did eat lunch, kind of forgot to film it, can't lie to you. Um, I didn't drink the wine because I also forgot, so my best friend has said that I have to have two glasses of wine for dinner as my punishment. Uh, I'm in the park near my house, actually looks really nice. I've never actually gone to this park before because um, I knew it existed but didn't really realise it was here. So, but it's actually really, really nice, so probably come here more often. So. I'm going to do my 5k walk now. I'm measuring it using the map my run app. So, wish me luck. So, halfway into my walking and the fleece is off because it's actually so hot. It's really nice weather. I'm with my dad in the back. I've had a lot of people looking at me thinking, why the hell has this girl got initials on her face? So, thank you for Shivani. Thank you to Shivani even for embarrassing me. There was a fly on my arm. Yeah, thanks again for embarrassing me. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be coming back to this park because it's actually so nice and I didn't realise how big it was, which is insane. So definitely going to be checking this park out more. I will check in with you guys to see how I got on after my 5k walk. How I'm feeling basically because I know I'm going to feel so tired. Okay, that five walk. Oh my god, my legs are throbbing. They are, I am just tired feels like I did leg day times two, like honestly, but the walk in the park was so beautiful. So kind of happy that she made me do a 5K walk. Maybe if it was a little bit less, because by the time I actually got out of the park, then I was walking on the main road to hit the 5K. Um, but I am happy because I finally, you know, went to the park after 20 years of living here. And now I can go again, because I know exactly what the route is. So now I'm going to have one litre of water. This is 500 millilitres, obviously, but I think I can pretty much down this because I'm that thirsty. I didn't bring any water with me because I knew I was going to drink one litre after. Probably a rookie mistake, probably should have brought water, especially in this heat. It was boiling, but it's fine, like whatever. So I'm going to down this. Oh, water never tasted so good. So Shivani has given me the go ahead to finally wash my face. Um, so yeah, I am going to take my makeup off now. Please don't excuse my hair, I'm just done whatever. So I'm gonna use, this is my face wash by the way. It's a turmeric, um, turmeric and bergamot face wash. It's really good. It really helps take my makeup off. I did used to use coconut oil. Don't really do that anymore because apparently there's just like a lot of things that I don't know. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do it basically. So I'm gonna just wash my face now. So I have taken off all my makeup, some of the eyeliner is still stuck as you can see but I am going to have a shower and take off it take it off properly like exfoliate and stuff so it should go then um, hence why I couldn't be bothered to do it properly now. Weirdly enough she's asked me to buy myself a pair of trainers. <laughs> Who just buys himself trainers on a random, random day but hey ho, she's asked me to buy a pair of trainers um, like I'm not a baller, by the way, guys, if you're thinking, what the hell, why is she expecting you to buy trainers? The budget is £30, so I can literally buy trainers, or she said anything else I want, like, in the shoe department. So I'm going to browse and see what I can find for £30, and, um, yeah, I'll let you know what I find. <laughs> So 
these are the trainers I ended up buying. They're a little below budget, which is cool. And I bought the Puma ones with the ribbon because I thought that was different. So yeah, these are the trainers that I bought. Thanks, Shivani. Shower done. Trainers bought in the PJs. Done my little night regime skincare. And now I'm ready to eat. I am starving. And um, I don't know what my mom's actually made, but I'm excited because I'm so hungry. So I will show you guys what I'm eating. <laughs> So this is today's dinner, chicken curry, tandoori chicken, dal and rice with one glass of wine. It's a white Zinfandel by Echo Falls and obviously I'm going to have another one of that. So I'm going to eat this now. So I've had my two glasses of wine. Shivani's basically asked me to have five chocolate biscuits for dessert. <laughs> which I guess is good because I'm starting to feel my drinks a little bit. Um, and I found digestive biscuits. So I'm going to have five of these um, by itself for dessert. So Shivani has asked me to do a one minute plank next because she hates me. So I'm going to attempt to do that whilst I've had a shower as well. She's, um, she's rude. So um, you can put your timer on. Oh, God. Uh, so basically Shivani wants me to dance to Martin Garrix Animals. Um, I know exactly why she chose this song because it's like a throwback to our Kingston days when I used to go Kingston and she used to come down and we'd go clubbing and stuff. So she wants me to dance to that song. Obviously you're probably not going to hear the song because of copyright issues, but I will play something else, but you're just going to see me dancing to basically something else. So enjoy! So I have officially finished the 24 hours. Thank God. Honestly, Shivani, um, I don't know why I put myself into this because I knew you were going to be savage and savage is what you were. So thank you for participating in my video without actually being in it. Um, but I did thoroughly enjoy it. I think I'm going to try and stick to the two litres of water because I actually feel a lot more energized and this is probably why people always tell me to drink water um there are clearly benefits so i will be trying to stick to that the porridge is is a no-go for me i'm sorry I, as you can probably see from when i actually had it it was nasty not for me black coffee i might actually keep continuing to do that although please let me know in the comments below if black coffee is actually a good substitute for normal coffee because i know black tea is but obviously i added sugar so it's probably counteracting the healthiness if that makes sense i don't know but either way i had fun doing this the plank was brutal especially after i had a shower because now i'm fully sweating again but dancing to martin garrett's animals was definitely a throwback because i've not had that song since uni days so uh it was definitely memories to say the least i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope you had as much fun as watching it as i had doing it so if you'd like to see more of these videos and please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.